In this video, you are going to learn about the loop blueprint course. Uh, in Unreal Engine, there's uh, two different types of loop variable available. One is that for loop and one is for loop. And there's uh, some difference between this that one is for each loop and second one is for loop. Okay. So the let me show you with the example. I create a simple variable and this is the integer variable and it's in an array and then in the value i just put some random numbers that is one two three four five okay okay so now i want to see uh, let me first show you the for loop okay and let me give it them make them side and i'm already write some code so let me just simply connect it with begin play so i'm just simply connecting with begin play with sequence node and for each loop so i want to verify that uh in this variable uh, i want to get the all the value okay so i simply connected this array with this one so now as you can see it's showing me that a loop body and a array element in loop body it will be basically execute how much value at here like there's a five time as you can see it will be execute five time okay even yeah it's quite enough for five time to six time however it will be show us to zero to five value and that is actually it will be work six time okay it will basically give you six time output and then at here we'll be see that uh, the array elements that is basically this that we can check that this uh, what is the content on in this index what is the value one two three or whatever it is the array index that uh, which index it's currently is working like it's working one three five or four whatever and the complete is uh, These five number ones to zero to five ones. It's complete everything. It will give you execution Okay, now let me show you with a print string. Uh, let me first show you with uh, this value Okay with loop body as you can see it's have six times. So it should be uh, Paste here the text six times. So one two three four five six as you can see it's paste six times. Okay now uh, let me just make it some more duration so you can check more goodly even you can count if you want like one two three four five six okay you can see it's execute six time now if i connect it with complete and if i show you now as you can see it's only work one because it's uh completely work for all of the variable and once it's count done it's showing that this okay now let me show you with uh, what is going on in this val values so also let me increase this thing to 5 and if I connect it with loop body and let me first show you the array element and now if I play as you can see it's showing that 5 4 3 2 1 0 okay and it's doing uh, like what is doing if you uh, let me show you uh, that it's basically counting from five four three two one zero okay it's working like a reverse okay yeah so now uh basically if i want uh, let now let's see the array like how the array work as you can see in array it's five four three two one or it's basically working current like a zero one two three four five it's uh, in a right direction because we are seeing in console so it's first executing zero one two three that's why we are seeing that no brother it's 5 4 3 2 1 okay it's not reversing it's actually working if you want to reverse there's a one more code available at here that reverse e for each loop it will be do the opposite of this array okay like if i make at here pin and if i execute like this and if i show you it array element with loop body compile save and play as you can see it's now will work like 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so now it's basically doing the reverse one okay so that's all add for each loop and there's a one more version of each loop that is the break if you once it's executing this just think that there's a maybe a tons of uh, value and if you want to break any of them at that position so you can execute this break like this and it will be basically stop that input okay now let's learn about we already done the for each loop section now let's learn about the for loop version the for loop is kind of like a executor like a event tick like the event tick always going on like it's a kind of work like infinity but if you want it will be work like event tick but it should be a limitation it should have a limitation so you can use the for loop the for loop we uh, you can execute with like a simple like even begin play and it will be give you like output like this by default if you write any for loop 
you can't see you find first of all they show you the for each loop so if you just scroll down and if you write there loop and or sorry you okay, need to write one more l level p and then here you find at the last that for loop okay by default it will be like this zero zero the first make sure that in unreal engine or any of game engine or even visual pro uh, visual studio or any of programming the first position is zero for computer that's why it's always the first index shows zero so it's mean that if i put two and if i want the execution it should be uh if i want that i want to see this text two times and if i write value that two okay uh at here it will be print that in three time okay let me show you like compile as you can see it's showing me three so for get accurate value like what i'm writing at here it should be show me that number so i need to just increase that value to one and compile and save and if i click on play as you can see it's showing me two times okay and this is also have the same that index value if i show you like loop body and index compile save and play and two and one okay because it's basically have this two uh in index and then this for loop break is also the same if you want to break that position you can use the break and the while loop not used too much so i'm skipping this one because this is a useless group record for me i guess but if you uh, lots of cases it might be work or use so for now i'm just skipping this however guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching guys see you in next tutorial video